there's reason to think that when you're dying, when you're in a state of advanced stress, and we assume that dying is advanced stress, the body can gin up lots of DMT and flood the brain with DMT. And that DMT and psilocybin are very similar in their effects. Mm, yes. They're now finding out that DMT, it used to be all about the pineal gland, but that's kind of an old model. It seems that Ooh. DMT is a neurotransmitter in the mm -hmm. brain, just like serotonin, mm -hmm. dopamine, so all these others. That means it's much more ever present in our neurology. That means every human being is possessing within themselves a Schedule One yes. illegal substance. Right. Yes, and you should mm -hmm. march yourself down to Very the police happy. station immediately and turn yourself in for possessing a controlled substance. That <laughs> might start solving the problem because I don't think they have enough jail space for everyone. And... <laughs> That's right. That's but right. so these are big yeah. problems, and I guess this speaks to the overall pictures. We have laws on the books in the state of Iowa and the federal government of the United States that are basically saying everyone is this criminal possessor, that, that we are criminalizing our very existence as human beings. And so I guess I'm sitting here as a lawmaker listening to you answer these questions for the last half an hour. It sounds like there's no justification for criminalizing at least psilocybin to begin with, in that perhaps under the right clinical circumstances with the proper respect and humility, this could usher in a new golden age of health and healing to help uh, reconfigure our conception of humanity to step forward in a bold new way of, of living and health and, and wellness. Is that a fair representation? Of what I I'm think hearing? that's a fair representation. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's, uh, I mean, the, the uh, you know, we've had 50 years or more to realize that the, uh, the prohibition model does not work. Right. People want to take drugs, they'll find a way to take right. drugs. You know, all the prohibition in the world is not going to stop that. The answer is education. You know, you have to mm -hmm. teach people or give people the opportunity to learn how to use these things properly uh, when mm -hmm. it comes to psychedelics. And as far as all the other so called drugs that people use and abuse, kind of the same thing applies. 